This is a run through of how to create a uh, click application that can be used and distributed to PowerPoint. Uh, that's a new functionality that's been added to Click late last year. And so let's have a look at all the pieces. This is a tutorial that Click has supplied. It'll be added inside the descriptions of this YouTube. There's the details that Click has released. And I guess the first thing is that I've got to upload these applications into my Click Cloud space. And uh, I realized as I was uploading here that I've already got one of these in there. So I'll delete that out of the list here. And then I'll upload the tester app, which is the one we're going to play with. Okay, now I put those in as um, into a collection. So you'll see the tester app is there. Yeah. And I've added it into a collection. And the collection is called PowerPoint. So. I've dropped it into there. When we go back into collections, we'll see that I've got some mobile pieces and I've also got that PowerPoint collection at the moment. So let's go into the tester app from the collection area and we can have a look at the first piece of building the application. Now it's the tester app is shipped with all of the sheets sitting in the personal area. And so that way I can edit them easily so that's all that's in the very first page. What we want to do is add a background image to it. And so we can go into the sheets and you'll see the styling area uh, below the thumbnail there. And that is where we add the background sheet. In this case, we need to select the image. And the image we are using for this very first one is called the background slide there it's no it's not it's the title slide so there's the title slide being added and i'm changing it to be original size and sitting in the top left hand corner now it's obvious that the text here doesn't work now that we've got a dark blue background so we need to change that now i always find changing the text here a little bit finicky and so i usually go to the the color palette and choose uh, white easily from here. And even when I did that, it didn't work the first time. So I went, jumped back in, did it once again. And the second time through, as luck would have it, it worked for me. And after a little bit of fiddling, there we have it. It's working nicely for me. So that's the process that we're going to go through on the next few pages. Um, the next sheet, the trend sheet, was all kind of messy. So there was a little bit of an exercise of adjusting those to fit on the screen nicely. And so what I did was I made the grid spacing uh, a bit customized once I added my background sheet in. That's where that happens. I've done that uh, fit to width and top in the middle. And now I can change the grid spacing to be 34, which is what I've done there. And then each of the particular sheets I've made uh, 19 by 8. The next sheet is the revenue sheet. It simply needs a background to be completed. So um, let's go in and build the background there. I'll take this one out and put it back in for us so that we can see what happens. So click on the image. Uh, that's the background we want when we insert it in there. Uh, we're, it's defaulted to stretch to fit, which is what we want. So that's all good news. And um, the next page after that is needing to have uh, trends and it has a heading at the top and the bottom. Now they're all aligned nicely. Uh, that sheet uh, simply has um, needs to be stretched to fit. So that works all very well and nice and easy for that one to happen. Now, when we come to the next page, 
this is the animated GIF. And so the animated GIF version looks like this. Um, we've gone and selected it. And once it's selected, uh, we choose top left and always fill. And it will uh, animate. It doesn't animate if it's a PDF, but it will if it's inside PowerPoint. Okay, and the very last page is again just a background and a little bit of text. And so the background uh, we put in there, we've made it original size, uh, starting in the left, and have changed the text to be um, white against that blue background once again. Now, once we've got all this finished, um, we need to make all of our sheets public so that we can share them inside the PowerPoint. So I'm just going through the process of doing that now, making each one public. And now that we've got that, we can go and click on the three little dots at the top of the screen there next to the click logo. And once that happens, we can subscribe to the sheet. That's the second option down there. Click on subscribe, subscribe to the sheet. Make sure that you remember to make it a PowerPoint if that's how you want to send it. And so there's a drop down for that just up above it under format choose Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, I've decided to change the name from thank you to PowerPoint. So it's a little bit easier to find when it gets emailed to me. And now I need to add in each of the sheets that are appropriate for the email and the PowerPoint, uh, hoping to get those in order. So intro, next one I think was trends. And the one after that was revenue, but I chose revenue by industry. So now I'll add Revenue, and I can drag that one up to its correct position, which is above revenue by industry. And then I can add the sheet that's left and that's the end, the end. And I just need to drag thank you down to its appropriate place. Now we need to schedule the time. And so what I'm doing here is just going through and setting it for a few minutes after uh, this video is being recorded and I can send it as an email to myself. I could add other people if I needed to. And so now um, if we go into the PowerPoint, we can see each of the sheets of the PowerPoint has been created directly from ClickSense. Uh, it all looks nicely aligned. And um, once this page is the animated GIF, we can see that one moving as well. And then we've got our thank you page at the end. And that's it. If you've liked this one, please subscribe, like, make a comment. I, I really appreciate it. And if you need some help with your click practice, uh, don't be shy to reach out and talk to me. Thank you.